Welcome back to Pirate Studios. Today I'm going to show you ML Drums by ML Sound Lab and how it applies to me with having an electric kit and how to set it up, what comes out of the free version, and what you get with the full version. So let's first go over here to the little computer. And we're going to add the VST here. This allows you to have several different tracks for each part of the drums, which we're not going to set up right now. Actually, I'm thinking the free one doesn't let you do that. So, um, first, you've got, let me put my headphones on so I can hear here. This is the default. And you've only got two toms. So I've only got one tom right now straight out of the gate. First I just want to say that this the this has a problem with e kits. Um, it doesn't have a rim shot. It's got side stick, but so you can set that up, but it doesn't have a, have a rim shot. So what I had to do was go in here to the the computer of the Alesis, and I had to make the middle snare and the rim shot the same MIDI note. That way it would that way it would work. So, and then you've got So, I have no ride, and my other tom is missing, so what we're going to have to do is go into the MIDI. I'm not sure if this is going to work for every electric kit or not, but this is for, this is the Alesis Nitro Mesh Kit, and I've, I've extended, I've got an extra tom, and i got an extra cymbal, because it only comes, it only comes with two. So, we're going to have to go into MIDI here, and as you can see, these are the ones that are grayed are, are not there. They're not available for the free version. But this is Rack Tom. This is uh, Rack Tom 2, and it is A1. So see there, now it's working again. And the ride, I just kind of found this out by trial and error. Um, ride is D number 2. So there's, um, there's default. Um, it comes with, um, it comes with um, a couple other different presets. That's uh, default, and then it has zero. Gah, those toms. The snare is so dry. Boink. Cool. And then, um, let's see, you've got so you, it comes with three different presets, and this is what sold the kit for me. The sound of this one. This one's called Metalcore.
So that's pretty much it on that. Um, and it's only it's only thirty nine ninety nine for to get the whole thing. Um, so let's go over to the big computer. All right. So we're going to open a virtual plug in. We're going to go down to my drums. Reaper lets you make your own folders of whatever you want for your, all your VSTs. And I've got one because I've got several different kinds of drums. I've got one for drums. Let's see if this is going to lock up again. Okay, now with the full version, it um, it asks you if you want to have separate tracks. That way, you can um, you can treat treat them all separately. In this case, I'm not going to do that right now. That's another video. So this is what you get with the full set. This is already um, set up. The MIDI is already set up correctly for my kit, or maybe it's not. <laughs> uh, let's see if we, yeah, so we need to switch that to A1. And then the ride needs to be D number two. And I can't remember what Crash 2 is supposed to be. I guess we'll look at China. China is, let's see, China right, yeah, A yeah, A2, so we're going to put Crash 2, A2, and that should be right. Now, you can change these to whatever you want, but this is just the way I like it. I like to have, um, I like to have it where I've got two crashes and a ride and stuff, so... Let's check out this preset. So let's check out another preset here. I'm just going to pick a, a few out, cause otherwise this video is going to be like a billion years old, a billion years long, and that's not what we want. <laughs> we don't want that. So instead of me um, doing, if I had a capture card, this would be a lot easier. So I'm just going to make a new, another virtual instrument track. And just, um, if this stupid, there we go. Okay. And we're going to check out another one of the presets. Like I said, if I had a capture card, this would be a lot easier because I could run my audio at the same time. And um, all at the same time with one tank and I could just go through it and nothing would, uh, nothing would change. So, blah, blah, blah. Let's pick one. Let's check out. I just can't help it. Let's do Grunge Rock. Well, I'm one of my toms. One of my toms isn't working, so we're going to have to go back to MIDI. Every time you open it, well, you can save it, which I should have done. Actually, I may have one saved right here. No, I don't. So we're going to do that. Um, so I don't have to do this every time. So I know my tom. There's my tom two. We know that that's that. And we know that ride is D number two. And we know that crash two is A2. And the ride crash 
There it is. Now we're going to save. Save as. And we're going to call this E kit. E kit. Boom. Bam. Now it's saved. Now let's check it out. So the double kick, um, I did another video and I'll, I'll link that in the description of how I got a double kick with this. It'll pretty much, it'll pretty much play as fast as you can play. So you've got other, um, you've got other add-ons. If you um, have got a, a lot bigger kit than I do. Ooh, I wish I had that. I mean, that one. Why is that not working? <laughs> I don't know why that. Oh, that one's not working because I don't have. That's nasty. Huh. I don't have those working because I've got I don't have a MIDI assigned to it. So I'll do one more preset and um we'll call it. And we're we're gonna hope and pray that my computer uh puts up with this. Uh, come on. It ought to work. It looks like it's cooperating, so that's good. So let's go ahead and go to MIDI and go to my default settings. E kit. Bam. Now I don't have to do that stupid crap again. And we'll check out. Uh, blah, blah. 80s wets, 80s wets there. So that, I, that's, that's another thing that I didn't show is the, the velocity for the toms are a lot better than the velocity of the snare. You can hear it, but it's not as good as... Velocity 
velocity change, but it's not quiet enough, basically, is what I, with the tom. See how quiet they are? So yeah, there you go. It's pretty awesome and it's pretty cheap for um, it's if I want to if I want to just lay down some drums and I don't want to go through and change out the snare individually or the bass drum individually. Ugratone, I'm sorry, is another one I use and uh, I'm going to do a video on their stuff too. It's going to be a way more in depth. It's probably going to be I'm probably not going to release it until after I do um, after I get a capture card because it's gonna it's gonna have a lot to it because like I said it's got several snares this is pretty much got like three snares uh, you can go right here and um, you can go right here and it's got it shows three snares I'm not sure if that's three snares per preset or what but everything pretty much sounds the same and, uh, and I mean that in a good way, everything sounds good. If I just want to lay down some drums and I don't want to mess around and I just want to lay something down and it sounds good immediately. It's ML Drums. Peace.